All right, so now that we have our mesh, we're ready to move on to the setup of our problem. To launch Fluent, double click on Setup, and here's the Fluent Launcher. In the options, we're going to select Double Precision. On my machine, I can use Parallel Processing, so I'm going to select to use pa four cores. Um, on your machine, you might not be able to use Parallel Processing, in which case you're going to have to use Serial. Hit OK. So once Fluent has loaded everything, you can see in the graphics window our mesh and our flow domain body. Um, before we get started, we're going to want to change our units. We've been mostly working in English engineering units for this problem, and we're going to want to keep that consistent throughout the rest of the problem. To do this, we're going to go into the Define tab up here and go down to Units. And we can simply select Set All to British. The only exception will be Pressure. So in the Quantities window, find Pressure. And change the units to PSI. All right, once you've done that, hit Close. So in this general setup window, we're going to leave everything as is. Um, and then we're going to navigate to the models window. Uh, we're going to turn the energy equation on. And for our viscous model, we're going to change it to the spellar Almaris equation. Leave everything as is and select OK. Finally, let's go to the Materials window and change and create um, air. So we're going to change our density to be ideal gas. And in order to get the correct Reynolds number for our flow, we're going to change the viscosity. So the viscosity that we need is going to be 1.09329. E to the negative 5. Once you've entered that, hit change and create, and then you can close the window.